Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'll be sharing with you how to create a search box so that if you enter a name for example your data will be filtered and I'll show you how to filter by additional columns as well. Let's jump in. To begin, I've set up my search box in cell F1, but keep in mind you could set up the search box wherever you'd like within your spreadsheet. Additionally, the filtered spreadsheet we're going to be creating is on the same tab as our original data, but keep in mind you could create it on a separate tab to give your filtered spreadsheet a clean look. Right below our column headers for the filtered data, we're going to start by entering in the filter function. The array for this function is going to be our entire table of data that we want to filter. After a comma, we're going to enter the isNumber function, and this allows us to match partial data, followed by the search function for our search box. For the find text argument within the search function, we'll click cell F1, which is where we want our search box to be. After a comma, we'll start off being able to search by name. So I'll highlight the entire name column on our original spreadsheet, close that off with three parentheses and click enter. You'll see all of my data has appeared from my original spreadsheet. And now if I enter a partial name CH for Chris, you'll see the data is filtered. You'll also see that if I enter in one of the training items, I'll enter email as an example, I get an error because I didn't filter by that column. To add an additional column to our filter function, first we're going to wrap the original is number function in parentheses. Afterwards, I'll press Alt plus Enter on the keyboard to go to the next line just for visibility. We'll add the plus symbol for an AND statement, opening parentheses, and then again, I'll enter the isNumber function followed by search. We're still searching in our search box, cell F1, so I'll click to enter that in. After a comma, since we want to now filter by the training, I'll highlight the entire training column. Four close parentheses to finish up this function and click enter. Now in the search box, if I enter the word email, you'll see the filter is working correctly. And if you were looking to add the training status or an additional column to this filter function, you would just follow the same step we applied before. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.